And this time I know better. I'm recording. And all right, there we go. Wow, here we are. Can can you hear it all right? I can hear it all right. Listen to that fucking music, man. Oh, well, I know. <coughs> I was wise. I bought cough drops today because, eh, throat. Um, it has some voice acting at the very beginning. Oh, good lord, that music is way too loud. There we go. I'll leave the cinematic volume all right. Uh, I don't, it, it has two types of commands, normal and retro. What do you think, man? <laughs> um, you want to try the retro? I don't, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I don't what, do they, retro. what do they consider retro? I, I don't know. I, I tried a little bit with normal, and it was just like, oh, it's a point-and-click adventure. Nah. So, all right. That's a little bit better. Uh, it starts with a cinematic, and I am ditching tutorials, because fuck tutorials. Am I right? All right. All right. Well, this, this looks good enough. All right. New classic please for players familiar with Shattergate and first person adventure games in general yeah oh uh give me a sec I'm gonna try a real quick uh, I want to test the latency so I'm gonna hit okay and you tell me when I've hit okay all right on which one the what what we're looking which at right one? now choose your experience okay all right so here I go three okay. two one instantaneous. Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, let's see. Choose your difficulty. Now this adventure's gameplay is challenging. Challenging? What? Provides the longest time limit. Oh. Oh. Because we have to worry about time limit. The torches. Limited hits. More opportunities to die or mastered. For veteran adventures, gameplay is the most demanding. Provides the shortest time limit. Indirect hints. And most opportunities to meet the Grim Reader. Or Iron Mode. Iron Man Mode. How about just, like, middle ground? I don't really feel like punishing myself right now. And not Iron Man, because we want to explore the yeah, we, to die. Yeah, we want to, uh, we want to be able to save. Like, we can quick save and quick load. I think it's, like, F5 and F9. I looked at it for, like, a little bit earlier. All right. So, uh, this should start the, um... Yeah, this should start the, the motherfucking cutscene. I'll just, just hide in the corner here. A hero's journey. A great quest. A great quest. Mm. Certainly it shall be these things. But for you, young Jair Kathaka, soldier of Windermere, could it not be so much more? We gotta do something about that name. In dreams, I have come to you, beseeching, entreating. Ride south, boy. Take naught but a dirk, a torch, courage. Ride south from Rivelin, around the southern arm, through the Waven Fairwood, past Myrithath. Beyond the citadel of Murlac Tor, and the spires of Gimdane, and the darkness of Tarketh's Pass. I hope you're remembering all these names. There will be a test. There you shall find my stone in wait. Under the shade of the mountain ridge, none have entered. Either on foot, on mount, on wing. Gatekeeper. The oldest of spires. It harbors that which has been spoken of in whispers and ascribed to legend. Shadowgate, the living castle. But all is not as it should be. One of our own is now our great bane. A blight upon us. He has brought the ancient keep low, and it now lies fallow. It is there that you will find me, 
Black Mirror of the Circle of Twelve. It is there that you will find this great quest. It is you burn there his rugs. that you will find yourself. <clears throat> I've come here, great druid. Great, now i got to beam you someplace else. <laughs> Couldn't I have walked there? No! <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, we are going to hide all tips. Wait. The only thing I need to know is how to save. There we go. The game was saved. Okay. So, here we are. <clears throat> um. Well, I see three spots for, uh, for things. Alright. Here's generally how this works is it's all in like a click circle thing so I can foot it I can fist it I can look at it uh, iron bands bind the rough hewn wooden planks that compromise this door that kind Comprise. of thing oh <laughs> I, I can I can read uh, we can look at ourselves Look upon yourself with apprehension, not knowing whether it's whether with, with, you you are fully prepared for the strange adventure. We have our inventory over here, which I gotta admit is much nicer. Okay, let's. Nothing happened when you used the dirk on the castle. That's not quite what I was going for. The skull on the ground glows before speaking to you. Come on, boy, pick me up. Well, just just hang on a second. I'm busy, bitch. You attempt to use the dirk on the door, but fail to accomplish much of anything. So, shall I pick up the skull, I guess? Oh, we can talk to the skull. Take skull, look at skull. A faint glow forms within the eyes of the sockets of the bleached skull. You jump as the lower jaw rattles. Has no lower jaw. Come on, boy. I haven't got all day. Pick me up. Oh, hell. That's useful. Oh, I didn't read this at the beginning. That you will find yourself with Lakmar's words echoing in your head. You stumble a bit until the world ceases its lurching. You stand before the Gatekeeper Mountain, an ornate door framed by a series of skulls is fashioned into the rock wall. Okay, a log is pretty cool. I don't know. What do you think so far? Well, it's the same but different. Yeah? Yeah, no key this time. Oh, there it is. Oh, that... Fuck. All right. <laughs> Nearly chop the skull when it begins to speak. About time, boy. You've no idea how long I've been waiting here. You can call me... Tim? York. <laughs> yeah, of course it's York. I have no recollection of how I got here, but I do know plenty about this castle. If you need my, if you need help on this quest of yours, just speak to me, and I'll give a hint. Ah, this is the hint system. Okay. Uh, well, here's a metal key that serves that has several strange etchings on its shaft. That sounds sexy. Let's take that. I wonder what that key could be used for. So we have one skull, but we have three holes. Seems to be a puzzle there, doesn't it? What is this? Thick, thick green roots twist around the dense foliage. Oh, is that not a thing? It looks like a thing. It does look like a thing. Take it. You're tugging the wet roots, but they slip from your grasp. Alright, well, is there... Yes, there is an open door. The door is locked despite your best efforts. It will not open. Hey, we've got the... Uh, we've got the key thing right off the bat. There we go. Turn the key, unlock the door. After a moment, you toss the key aside. Because fuck it, I can't clutter up my inventory with every little shit you put in my inventory. Next, I'll be picking up brooms and burning rugs. <laughs> the door opens with an eerie creak. 
I wonder if I'm gonna get really annoying music when this uh, torch comes down. Oh my. Whoa! All that the eyes. Here was a fool to send a child to do that which even the vaunted Circle of Twelve could not. Contain my growing power. Come if you wish. It makes little difference. Seal your fate within this living castle of the dead. The apparition fades, leaving a trail of cold air behind it. What an asshole. Grab those torches. Hell yeah. And I see a rug! <laughs> <laughs> yes! Like burst into flames through the clouds of smoke up one. So yeah, uh, are we still of the opinion, fuck the warlock? Oh yeah. What That's is this tradition. button? Oh, it's the back button. I have a back button now. Another thing, uh, we have a map. So right now we're in the antechamber. Which is like, I don't think that's how antechambers work. This is the Did caves put, map. Hmm? If you put a, uh, if you touch the antechamber to the chamber, is there an explosion? I think that destroys reality if you do that. Kind of like two people from different parts of time. <laughs> I don't see a uh, a broom closet. Yeah, where is our broom closet? It's usually like right here. Cold mist swirls about your feet, casting surreal pall over the stone arched antechamber. What is that? Is that a thing? A circular hatch is made of strange stone. A hatch? Huh. Set securely within a mortared base, a low hum of power emanates from within. All right, open the hatch. Oh, you know what? We're gonna be saving a lot. <laughs> I'd say every time we make some significant progress, we'll save. Despite your best efforts, you cannot open the hatch. It seems magically sealed. Of course it does. Can you pull that lever? Oh, I didn't even notice the lever. Good eye. Difficult to tell if the sling has seen battle or was simply used by a shepherd to keep his flock safe. Well, that's my the sling. Yeah, that's my sling now. Can I uh, get one of these stones? All right, so. Yeah. Oh, it's an ancient gold coin. Well, fuck, we're picking up all kinds of shit. One that bears a faded okay. image of a fiefdom long dead. So. Already we're seeing that they've changed some things up a little bit. Yep. Uh, okay. I punched it. Whoever moves under it. the force. <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> and you get another key. Did, did, oh, hey. Uh, all right. Slides away from the wall, holding, uh, holding, holding a key. All right. Let's... Heavy with spots of rust. Um, jeez. Okay. I don't see anything else that, like, immediately pops out here. A uh, strange pattern unlike anything you've seen before is carved into the solid iron door. It is locked, therefore it will not open. <clears throat> I guess let's well. do this shit again. Struggle with both hands to turn the key in the stubborn lock. A satisfying click echoes through the chamber. And you toss the key aside. Cause fuck keys. And, and rugs. Fuck keys and rugs. Well, we have to take the book now. Well... A damp, musty breeze wafts out from behind the altar set with stone and a clove. You note that goes further into the mountain. Ah, my brain. My brain is faffed right now. Take torch. Hmm. Hey, uh, Doom Lad's in. 
rolled up parchment is secured with a dab of candle wax. I mean... It's listed under archives. Outfit? Can we, can we change costumes? Carefully open the scroll. You've read the message scrawled in the scroll. Fandril, this missive is of utmost importance. We must coordinate our efforts. <clears throat> Seek my obelisk in the acolyte den below the sewers. I fear the worst is upon us, but I have plans in motion that may yet avert disaster. It is signed with the name Lakmir. Now, Lakmir is the guy that sent us, right? Yeah, he's, he's our wizard uh, friend. Uh, barely flickering candle. What is this altar? Strange markings of glyphs line the pillar and shroud the statue. One depicts a hooded figure with darkened visage. Also, there's a dead body here. Give the skeleton a quick once-over. You find no obvious cause of death. You do, however, have a bad feeling about this. Also, never tell me the odds. <laughs> I have two days till right. retirement. Um, here is uh, it, here's where you you save and we experience our first death. Yeah, I think so. Okay, what is? Let me just look real quick. Key bindings. Okay, quick save is F five. All right, a little bit awkward. And F nine is quick load. So quick save, quick load. All right, let's give that a try. Well, that shut down everything. I know what went wrong. Did I lose you, though? No, no. Everything's fine. Okay. For, for me, I lost everything. All of my windows just minimized. Oh, God. Okay. I gotta revamp everything. Put that there. Put that there. Not that it matters much, but that there. Christ. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> um, F5. Your game has been saved. All right, there we go. <clears throat> you can see a frozen image of the shadow gate. Yeah, well, that happened. Let's look at the book. We'll take a look. It's in a book. Old musty smell emanating from the book hints at its age. Take book. And here we go. Okay, I'm, I heard a Wilhelm scream there. As you, <laughs> as you lift the tome from the altar, the earth rumbles beneath your feet. In an instant, the rocky floor gives way, sending you tumbling down a vertical <laughs> shaft. Thank you. Thank you, Captain. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the abrupt impact from the landing doesn't kill you. Ten tons of stone from bro the broken floor finishes the job. So, the floor was under us, but we fell so fast that we fell faster than the floor. That's what I understand, yeah? And then it killed us by... St the thing that was under us fell on top of us and we died. Times. Yeah, it's, it's what happens. You have chosen poorly. You have yeah. chosen poorly! I love it. Oh, we got a newer version of the uh, death song, though. But it's like only a little bit. I don't know, man. It's got to go on and on and on, right? You, you going back to the beginning? What? No. Oh, here we are. <laughs> my bad, my bad. All right. Let's take the skeleton. Oh, I can't. Let's open the skeleton. Wait, what was that? You pat down the corpse. Your, your rough handling produces a parchment and a scroll which you can put in your pack wait no what back up what is this what is this everything that I just grabbed uh, it's a brittle parchment contains not but faded illustrations in five word seek ye the black axe all right uh, brittle to the touch let's open it it cracks when I unroll it you read the message scrawled in the passage. 
Brown, I have your dog. If you wish to see the flying ace again, then bring the skulls and squash. I require... What? What? To the place beyond the pumpkin door. But be wary, for only one outfitted for the hallowed eve can gain... Entrance. Entrance. There you must carve my visage and illuminate the sacrifice before performing the spell of invocation. Then I will be freed. And this will all end cordially. DP. Wait, so his dog was kidnapped? And he's... So this guy's dog was kidnapped by... And this and this guy wants some fruit? No, it's... Uh, squash, I mean, is a gourd, <laughs> as is a pumpkin, I guess. Is this a Halloween meme? I, I don't know. <clears throat> oh, okay. No, I can't punch it. Uh, all right. Now, uh, can we open the book? Something shifts under your feet after you open the book. Well, that was fucking dangerous. <laughs> you scan the ancient manuscript, noticing, noticing most of the language is unintelligible. However, one particular word stands out from the rest. Invaken. In your mind's eye, you see the glyph flowing with power and quickly write down the strange markings in your spell book. You've learned a spell. Will it tell us what the spell does? Uh, translation of the spell grips in your mind's... You glimpse some spectral person at the edge of your consciousness. Spooky. Um, are we done here? I think we're done here. Oh. Got one. Looky there. Looky there. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. Next to the altar. Next to the you, altar. You can... Okay. All right. You see where your circle is? Where your eye and the and the wrench and everything? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Dismiss that. Dismiss it. I... And where... Oh, okay. Well, where it was just a moment ago, click. No, 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 no. Yeah. Up oh. some. <laughs> Up some. There, there. Now, now down. Down. There, you see the circle? No. You don't see that impression oh. of stone right there. Fissures fractures along the edge of the section of the stone wall. Hey, we've seen this. All right. Punch it. <laughs> Pound the stone with your fist. Your pain is immensely rewarded as rock fractures and crumbles. Remember releasing an opening. I was just looking around. Shit. I know, but you remember the secret passage. Yeah, I kind of remember the secret passage. Of course I remember the secret passage. So I guess we're going that way first. It's the same but different. Yeah, it's the same. You force yourself through the narrow opening into the darkness beyond. A figure moves within the opening at the black or at the back of the grotto. You hear the unmistakable twang of a longbow, followed by a whistle. Of an arrow. Oh, is this what a dick. Yeah. <laughs> you just instinctively jerk to the left. You see a glint of silver as the arrow misses you and strikes the rock behind you, shattering into splinters. Um, asshole. So... Um. Yeah, it's a quick save here. Um... I don't know, I'm not used to getting attacked. No, in the past this room wasn't deadly. Uh, but where did that arrow go? Well, it's, it's splintered behind us. Like, originally, it was, like, hanging on the wall or some shit. Right, you had to pick it up. Can you pick up any of these skulls? Hmm, I don't know, let's pick one up. Yep. Alright, we'll have to take these guys back to the front door. I think so, too. Let's grab another, let's grab, like, three. Who knows if they're the right ones. Since a... Furtive movement within the darkness of the opening. Something or someone is definitely up there. Mm, nothing stands out. What is this? 
One look at the cracked and splintered bones of the rib cage reinforces how frail life is. Life is frail. Uh, shall I just head back to the front door and start throwing skulls into the holes? I mean, may as well. Uh, um, and we'll ponder this room while we go back. Yeah, I don't uh, see anything that stands out other than bones and this exit. Actually, can I use this? Whoa, what is that? What is this thing? Alright, well, whatever. Oh, I can't just skip to rooms. So we gotta do this the old-fashioned way. Is there some way I can join voice chat? I, uh... <laughs> It requires some unraveling to do that, Doom Lad. <laughs> Wait. Why is this oh. one better than... What? They are different. We may have to go back. Alright, well, let's see. You're physically incapable of getting the skull into the flot. It simply will not fit. Alright, well, All right, let's try... try the other one. Yeah, we'll try this one. Same. So they need to be smaller. The torch flame momentarily flickers. Oh, is it that time? Well, hell, I want to die via torch flame. Why the hell not? Okay, it's getting slightly flickery. This is... That's quite a warning. It was usually like five moves. What if what if these are actually timed and they're not done by moves? No, I think they're done by turns. I'm, uh, admittedly, I'm just guessing. Okay, there goes another arrow. So every time I, I walk in here, an arrow comes out. Well, I wonder if that's the hint. I wonder if we need to uh, go into another room. Maybe grab a shield. Or bonk off the shield? I don't know. 